Let's start with the first two. The first two are the same one. They're the first one of six. It is the habit of special point guards to race the ball from arc to arc. It's really hard to look special while walking the ball up the floor. It's really hard to look special while walking the ball up the floor. Somebody raise your hand and tell me what's the hardest thing for a coach to teach. What's the hardest thing for a coach to teach their team? What do you think? Um, first name? Nathan. Nathan, what do you think? Uh, heart. Heart. I like that one. Nathan, uh, first name? Uh, Garrett. Garrett, what do you think? Intangibles. Intangibles. Uh, first name? Jace. Jace, what do you think? Being deceptive. Being deceptive. Very tough. Marcus, uh, being coachable. Being coachable. I'm going to stop it there. All those things are tough. And I guarantee that your coaches agree with those things. But when I say this, I bet you every one of our observing coaches in here is going to be like, amen. Because college level, professional level, this is where games are won and lost. The hardest thing for a coach to teach is transition defense. The hardest thing for, I, I'm getting nods from the coaches right here. I'm getting amens and smiles. The hardest thing for a coach to teach is transition defense. Here's the thing. When you walk the ball up the floor, you're letting the other team off the hook. You're not putting them in a situation where they have to prove to you they've mastered one of the hardest parts of the game of basketball. Instead, you want to put pressure on the other team's transition defense because please write this down. Every possession, there is a moment in time where that defense is disorganized. Every possession, there's a moment in time where that defense is disorganized. It may be early, it may be late, it may be a mismatch, it may be two players on the ball, it may be no one back. There's a moment in time. Your goal in racing the ball from arc to arc as quickly as possible is to probe that defense and take advantage of that moment in time so that you can get a high percentage shot. The highest percentage shots that you're gonna ever get are gonna be within the first seven seconds of the shot clock. The highest percentage shots you're ever gonna get are going to be within the first seven seconds of the shot clock. But understand this as well. It's not about getting a quick shot. It's about getting a high percentage shot. You may race the ball 100 times per game, but you're not gonna shoot within the first seven seconds 100 times per game. You're only gonna shoot within the first seven seconds maybe 10 to 15 times per game because you found that moment in time. But if you don't race 100, you won't get those high percentage shots.